Hola y bienvenidos a Coffee Break Spanish. Welcome back to Coffee Break Spanish. Now this is lesson 12, 12 or 12 in Spanish. And we're going to be learning some more numbers today. We'll also be learning days of the week and months of the year. I hope you enjoy this lesson. Okay, now it has to be said that numbers are probably not the most interesting thing to learn about and indeed to teach about, but we're hopefully going to make things a bit more exciting and a bit more interesting with some music and rhythm like the last time we did some numbers. Let's run through the numbers between 11 to 20 first of all. 11 is once. Once. 12, doce. Doce. 13, trece. Trece. 14, 14. 14. 15, 15. 15. 16, 16. 16. That's actually 16. 10 and 6. 16. 16. 17 is 10 and 7. 17. 17. 18, 18. 18 19 19 19 and 20 20 20 Vale, pues vamos a repetir los números con ritmo. 11 11 12 12 13 13 14 14 15 15, 16, 16, 17, 17, 18, 18, 19, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 19 19 y 20 20 Sorry, I got a bit carried away there. Um, we did try to promise you that learning numbers wouldn't be boring with Coffee Break Spanish. Anyway, we're going to go on now and we're going to learn how to count upwards from 20, number 20. If 17, 18 and so on means 10 and 7, 10 and 8 and so on, then 21 is 20 and 1. 20 y 1. 20 y 1. I just watch the pronunciation of the word 20. It's 20. 20. 20. That's it. 20. 20. 20. 20. So 21. 21. Because 20 y 1 becomes 21. 21. And then you go on 22. 22. 22. 22. 23. 23. How would you say 25? 25. 25. What about 28? 28. 28. Muy bien. So 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. 30. 30. Exactly the same thing happens with 30. It's the A sound followed by the E sound. 30. 30. 30. What would 31 be then? 31. 31. 31. 31. Muy bien. And 32? 32. 30. 30. Y dos. Y dos. Treinta y dos. Treinta y dos. Muy bien. And it goes on up until cuarenta. 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 And cuarenta y uno. Forty one. Cuarenta y dos. Forty two. And so on. Then cincuenta. 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 Or cincuenta in Latin America. Cincuenta. 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 And that would be 50. Then 60 is 60. 60. 70. 70. 70. 80. 80. 80. 90. 
noventa. Noventa. And one hundred. Ciento. Ciento. Okay. I'm going to give you some numbers here and see if you can work out what they are. Ochenta y cuatro. Cara? Eighty-four. Muy bien. Setenta y cinco. Seventy-five. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cincuenta y uno. Cara? Fifty-one. Muy bien. Treinta y tres. Thirty-three. Muy bien. Okay, so these numbers are fairly straightforward, as long as you can learn veinte, veinte, treinta, treinta, cuarenta, cuarenta, cincuenta, cincuenta, sesenta, sesenta, setenta, setenta, ochenta, ochenta, noventa, noventa, and ciento, ciento. Okay, just to mention one other thing about ciento. Ciento starts with C-I, and therefore in Spain it's pronounced ciento. But in Latin America it would be pronounced... Ciento. Ciento, ciento, okay? So we'll stick to Spanish pronunciation for moving on from 100. Ready for some more numbers? Yes, okay. Okay, so 101 would be ciento uno. Ciento uno. Ciento uno. Ciento uno. And ciento dos, ciento tres, and so on. Let's see if you can work out what 115 would be. Cara? Ciento quince. Ciento quince. Uh -huh. And what about 148? Ciento cuarenta y ocho. 148. That actually brings up quite a good point because in English we say 148. And there might be a tendency, if you thought about it, to say 148. But we know that 48 is 48. So it's 148 in Spanish. 148. 148. Okay, now 200 in Spanish is quite interesting because 200 is two hundreds, literally. So you don't say dos ciento, but dos cientos. Dos cientos. Dos cientos. So 222. Dos cientos, veinte y dos. Think of this word for 20. Veinte. Veinte. Dos cientos veintidós. Dos cientos veinte y dos. Dos cientos veinte y dos. Ok, three hundred would be... Trescientos. Trescientos. Uh -huh. Trescientos. Or in Latin America, trescientos. Trescientos. Ok. Four hundred. Cuatrocientos. Cuatrocientos. Uh -huh. Five hundred. Cinco cientos. Now, that is really interesting that you had trouble saying cinco cientos. In fact, you're not alone. Because in Spain and in the Spanish-speaking world, you don't say cinco cientos. It sounds funny. So you say quinientos. 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 It's just one of those things. There's no real reason for it. Quinientos. Quinientos. So we've got ciento, doscientos, trescientos, cuatrocientos, quinientos. And then it goes on. Seiscientos. Seiscientos. And then setecientos, not setecientos. And ochocientos. Ochocientos. And another strange one, novecientos. 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 It's not nuevecientos, but novecientos. Novecientos. Okay. And one thousand is mil. 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 So let's try some more numbers here. I'm going to test you on and see how well you do. So to begin with, 324. Cara? 320 y... I forget the number. 324. Y cuatro. 324. 324. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. Muy bien. Ok. We'll try and avoid 20. Um, what about 
642. Seiscientos cuarenta y dos. Muy bien, seiscientos cuarenta y dos. Try five hundred and fifty five. I can't remember how to pronounce five hundred. Five hundred is quinientos. 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 Quinientos cincuenta y cinco. Now, a wee bit of revision from our last lesson. How would you say, how do you say 500 in Spanish? ¿Cómo se dice 500 en español? ¿Cómo se dice 500 en español? Bueno, en español 500 se dice 500. 500. Okay, so no more excuses, no asking how do you say something in English from now on, okay? Um, one last one, and this is going to be a real big one. 1,000... Two hundred and eighty-two. Mil doscientos ochenta y dos. Mil doscientos ochenta y dos. Perfecto. Two thousand is dos mil. Three thousand, tres mil, and so on. It is very straightforward. You really know now all the numbers that you need to know in Spanish, and you can practice them in lots of different ways. Our bonus podcast will help you do just that. Now, there are a few more things that we need to do in this podcast. We need to learn the days of the week, the months of the year, and the seasons of the year as well. Let's start with the days of the week. We'll begin with Monday. Monday is lunes. 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 Okay, Tuesday is martes. 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 Wednesday is miércoles. 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 Thursday is jueves. 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 Friday, viernes. 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 Saturday is sábado. 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 Sunday is domingo. 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 Muy bien. Let's run through them again. Lunes. Lunes. Okay. Martes. Martes. Miércoles. Miércoles. Jueves. Jueves. Viernes. Viernes. Sábado. Sábado. Domingo. Domingo. Muy bien. There's not really a lot you can do to remember the days of the week. It's just a case of learning them. And the same with the months of the year. So the months of the year are... Enero. 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 Febrero. 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 Marzo. 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 Or marzo. Marzo. Abril. 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 Mayo. 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 Junio. 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 Julio. 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 Agosto. 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 Septiembre. 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 Octubre. 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 Noviembre. 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 Diciembre. 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 O diciembre en Latinoamérica. Diciembre. Okay, one thing there about the word for September. In some parts of the Spanish-speaking world, people say septiembre. In other parts, people say 
Septiembre and have a small P sound in the middle. And indeed, it's spelled some cases with the P and in other cases without the P. So it's fairly optional, but you might be better to ask someone in the area where you're most familiar with how they say and how they spell septiembre or September. Finally, the mm, seasons of the year. We are at the moment in invierno. Invierno. But we certainly are here in Scotland. Invierno is winter. Invierno. Invierno. Okay, spring is primavera. 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 Primavera literally means the first green. So the first green coming in spring after the winter disappears. So primavera. Primavera. Summer is verano. 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 And autumn is otoño. 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 Okay. Now, there's one final thing that I'd like to cover before we finish this lesson, and that is to see the date, what date it is. For example, when this is published, it will probably be the 7th of January. That would be el 7 de enero. El 7 de enero. Now, note that it's not the 7th in Spain. Instead, it's the 7 of January. El 7 de enero. El 7 de enero. So you can also add in the year because you know the year now. It's 2007. 2007. So the word for today is hoy. Hoy es el 7 de enero de 2007. Hoy es el 7 de enero. Do you say de? De 2007. 2007. Exacto. You always have to say, today is the 7 of January of 2007. El 7 de enero de 2007. El 7 de enero de 2007. Okay. Mi cumpleaños, my birthday, es el 20 de abril. So, Cara, when's my birthday? The 20th of April. Muy bien. ¿Y cuándo es tu cumpleaños? Mi cumpleaños es el 5 de noviembre. Muy bien, el 5 de noviembre. And that's all for today. And that's where we're going to leave it today for this edition of Coffee Break Spanish. Thanks for joining us and we hope it's been useful. You can join the Coffee Break Spanish community on Facebook at facebook.com slash coffeebreakspanish and follow at Learn Spanish on Twitter. Muchas gracias y hasta pronto. Coffee Break. Coffee Break this is a production of the Radiolingua Network. Find out more at radiolingua.com.